With the spring 2022 anime season kicking off in just a few days, and summer 2022 looming just over the horizon, I would like to bring attention to my Dark Horse anime of the year, airing in July, which could turn some heads on release. Yofukashi no Uta, or Call of the Night, is a story revolving around our main protagonist, Kol Yamori, a young teenage boy suffering from insomnia due to having no daytime outlet for his pent-up energy. This insomnia was a byproduct of his issue of not finding satisfaction with his daily life, and maintaining a normal facade during his time at school, which he quit, that simply wore him down. While taking a stroll at night, he meets a strange girl that diagnoses the reason for his insomnia, and offers to cure his insomnia by sleeping beside him. After spending an ample amount of time with the strange girl, the two share a futon at the girl's apartment. While lying down and mulling over his absurd situation, the girl leans over and bites his neck? Call of the Night is an anime adaptation of a manga of the same name, written and illustrated by the author Kotoyama, which you may know as the author of the manga series Degashikashi. The anime itself will be produced by the studio Light and Films, and the genres of the show are romance and supernatural. Now, what should the audience expect coming summer 2022? The viewers can expect a fun coming-of-age story with some aspects of mystery, horror, and human drama sprinkled in. In terms of the romance aspect of the show, the viewers can expect a romance that veers away from the typical relationships that we typically see within other slice-of-life anime, something that I will explain later in the video. The best comparison for the show that I can think of at the top of my head would be Oregairu if the show took place in a supernatural setting. In terms of the team working behind the scenes to produce the Call of the Night anime, the studio Light and Films is quite solid in terms of animation and show quality, with their most notable works being the initial D movies, Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches, and most recently the Tokyo Revengers adaptation. Based on the credentials of the studio along with the trailers that we have seen thus far, the animation's already looking quite damn good, and could even exceed expectations if the animation quality ends up being consistent throughout the whole anime. The most intriguing aspect of the anime's production team is the director, Tomoyuki Itamura. Tomoyuki was a co-director to the highly acclaimed Monogatari series, which is one of my favorites, and has recently worked on the quite successful anime, Vanitas no Karte. With a director with quite a nice track record in quality anime, it would be difficult to bet against the skill and expertise of Tomoyuki Itamura in creating a great anime out of the manga, Call of the Night. With the technicalities out of the way, here are my personal thoughts of the anime and manga series. I am personally very hyped for the anime as I have greatly enjoyed the manga as a whole. I enjoyed how the relationships between each character within the series is complicated and not simply cookie cutter and basic. There's a certain level of depth and complexity within each relationship, such as the one with the main protagonist and the strange girl. That reflects how relationships are in real life, how things are not just simply black and white. Another great aspect of the story, tied in with the previous point, is that the side characters of the story have a level of depth to them. Each character in the manga has a purpose and affects the plot of the manga in different ways. They all individually have their own story and thought processes that determine the reasons why they do things within the manga. The story and manga as a whole is fun and wholesome at times, with the occasional sprinkle of mystery and horror and even drama to spice things up. As expected of most coming-of-age anime and manga, our main protagonist does indeed grow as a person as the plot goes along, along with other characters as events start unfolding. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the summer 2022 anime preview of the Call of the Night anime, airing sometime in July 2022, and if you do have the time on your hands, I do encourage you to read the manga as I personally consider it quite underrated. If you guys enjoyed and liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down your thoughts on the upcoming new anime.